and yeah, I'm happy with it. I really am. It's, it's gorgeous. Let me give you a twirl. And my arms feel free to dance. Um, yeah, I'm happy with this. Hello, fashion sewers. I hope you are well. If you are new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee, and on my channel, I do sewing techniques, refashioning of old or new clothing, and also do a segment where I show you garments that I have designed, pattern drafted, and also sewn. So if you are into that sort of thing, consider subscribing. And let's get into the video. So I am going to be refashioning um, the clothing that I got in my last thrift haul. Um, I'll link that video below and it's going to be the poncho, yeah, with the sequined hearts. There's two, there's one here and there's one towards the bottom of the poncho. Thank you for your suggestions. Um, I did have a couple of suggestions and one was to mix it with this uh, purple striped shirt um, the hearts basically and um, I said thank you for the suggestion but one of the reasons why I'm not going to go for that option is that I this is gorgeous this feels so soft it's gorgeous it really is it's and because it's winter time and um, not that I really need any more winter items um, but I want to stick with what I have. I don't want to cut them out and then this gorgeous soft blue fabric goes to waste, which is, right, so there's no label, there's no care label in there. And also the label's also removed from the top of the garment, so I don't even know what brand it is. But it really is gorgeous and soft and warm. So I am going to refashion this item on its own. I'm not going to add anything to it unless I have to, because I don't know what's going to happen yet because I haven't tried it on. I just want to make sure that when I'm starting to do these refashioning um, is that I'm doing it as now. I haven't tested it. I haven't tried to figure out how I'm going to um, refashion it I just want to do it on camera so that it's challenging for me and also um, it can be a case of that as I'm showing you how I go about refashioning of items what I would save and what I wouldn't cut into or what I wouldn't do may ben benefit you if you want to follow along in a similar type of um, garment that you may have so um, so yeah so like I said it's, it's soft it's gorgeous and I do want to keep these sequined hearts on here so I'm going to go and try it on and let's figure out what I can do with it so um, I'm gonna have to just keep the basic tools so I've got here some scissors I've got fabric scissors small scissors I've got some a basting thread and a needle as well, a seam ripper, some straight pins, um, tape measure. I've also got some safety pins as well. Um, yeah, which is a good idea to always have safety pins as part of your sewing kit. So yeah, let's get let's get to it and let me try this on and let's see what I can make out of this top. Oh, it's so it's going to be so challenging. Um, but now I'm looking forward to it. Okay. I'm going to put the top the punch on now. Now I've got a full length mirror in front of me, so excuse me if I'm not looking at the camera. And it's a good idea to have a full length mirror when you're doing refreshing projects. Okay. Nothing much. Um, the neckline is as line as flat as possible. That's okay. Yeah, it's, it's just meant to be like a, a slight 
funnel neck, I think. Yeah. Okay. So that's okay. It fits around the shoulders okay. So I don't think I'll be interfering with the neckline. It needs to be okay at the back as well. Um, I, just, I definitely want to keep the heart that way. And let me just turn to the side. So the, the shoulder line is down the centre front. See what happens there? It's the kind of a look that I get. I like the neckline, I like the, like the way the neckline is falling. But no, it's... I don't mind the heart being towards the back on the heart. So that's, you know, that's that way I would want to wear it now. Let me try the other way with the smaller of heart. The seam down the front here. We'll back down at the bottom. See, I love this. All that drapey drapiness that's happening there. Um, but no. Right. Okay. And when you are refreshing, it really is about just playing around to see what kind of look you like and you want to go for. Hmm. I think it's okay if I sew down the side here. No, it's still creating the same kind of Poncho effects. Or if you gathered it or rooched it. That could be an option. Um, um, see, that's nice seeing the hearts there. And it could be a case I could take the kit apart so I've got a back and front to play with. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that at all. So that one's okay. All right, let's see. My arms are up. Down gentle. Let's see if I bring this. Oh, okay. Bring that to the back. So I pinched it. About like this. Ooh, I'm liking this. As you all know, I love asymmetrical garments. Yeah, I like that. I've got the heart there, which is not bad. Not a bad place for it. I don't mind it being there. Just <laughs> under the, the armpit here, half of it. Obviously, I want to be able to move my arms. So what I'll do is, yeah, that's okay actually. And there's the other heart there. That's not a bad place as well. Okay. So it's a bit more fitted and it feels so soft. Oh, it really does feel soft. So now, this is when I'm going to be pin, putting the pins in. Or oh, uh, the safety pin. I'm going for the safety pins. <laughs> um, so this may be a bit tricky because I'm, I'm doing it blind. So do bear with me. Right, I think I've got the first one in. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> this may be a lot more simple than I think. It doesn't, doesn't feel that restricting. Um, it's almost like a cape effect, isn't it? 
but that's yeah that is a lot better that is right, i'm going to put so i've got one pin here and i'm going to put another pin a little bit further further up you can see that. I'm going to put a little pin, another pin further up. See that? I'm going to see that causes a little bit more, too much restriction in the arm movement. This is what happens when you, <laughs> you have to fit yourself. I've had enough years experience and many <laughs> pin, <laughs> pin, pin stabbing me. Ow, just did that. Right, okay. Okay, got that in there. That is fine. I do like that. I do like that silhouette. I really do like it. I can even wear a belt as well. It's, it's like a cape and you still get to see the little the small little part towards the side more to the yeah side towards the back but I'm liking that it doesn't feel too restricting yeah I do like that And the fact that it doesn't feel too restricting, I'm happy with that. I'll be able to carry handbags, be able to put my hair, fix my hair. And it is a cape hand effect towards the back. And it's, just, it's going to be quite a simple one to do. I can wear a belt with that. Yeah. So I hope you can see that. Um, I've always done, what I've actually done is just brought in the volume of the cape of the poncho so it fits my body shape and I've created a cape towards the back and because it's so soft it doesn't feel too restricting. There is a little bit of restriction, I will, I will, I will give you that and what I could possibly do is if there is restrictions Probably, yeah, the seam, if I wanted to, I could actually undo some stitching to about here and the same on the, on the other side as well. But no, I, I like this though. I did, sorry, <laughs> I, I, I'm looking in the mirror, but um, I like the cake effects at the back. Now this is something, this is something I could definitely wear time and time again and it's not too restricting and I do a little bit, yeah I would do, I'm going to style it up for you, I think I'll put a belt on as well um, towards the end of the video, I'll style this to see what you think, we've got pants and yeah, see how it goes, so what I'm going to do now is, because I've got the pins in relatively okay about the positioning of the pins, I am actually going to yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm machine stitch this. I think because I do want it to look nice. So, um, or should I hand stitch it? You know, I'm going to machine stitch it because of the restrictions a little bit. Um, but no, I do like that. Yeah. Let me see if I pull this around here a little bit more, so more of the little part is on my chest area. We've got this going on here. That's okay. Yes, I like this. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll share. I'm just going to show you um, the straight stitch. I'll just be doing just be a small section that I will be sewing. And yeah, my first refashioning of my lockdown thrift haul. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, what I'll do is I'm going to, I'm going to take it off just to, just to make sure that I can get in and out of this, okay? Yay! Yeah, 
no problem. No problem whatsoever. Okay, I'm going to take to the sewing machine and sew that section. So this is where I've placed my pins. So I'm just going to get some straight pins and just put a little, one pin there and one pin here. So I'm only pinning through one layer at the moment because it's a nice neat finish to the edge of the poncho. And you can see the seams haven't lined up but that doesn't matter because it fits the way I want it to fit. And I'll take the safety pins out. Okay. So I want to do then is get my hand inside and then just flip that over like so. And do the same on this side as well. Just put a couple more pins in here and here. Yeah, that's nice. So that's kind of, see, if I'm keeping with a nice clean finish. So I will start start sewing here and end here. I'll do it on both sides. Let's turn it around. So I'm going to start sewing here. I'm going to do two rows of stitching. One along here, like stitching in the ditch, and one just on the edge here, which is going to be an edge stitch along there. That'd be really nice. And as you can see, it looks like a flat fell seam. So like I said, they went down both sides, came across and came across. And this is the right side. And this is the wrong side. Now what I'll do is I'll try it on again and just see how it feels. I've teamed it with a belt and yeah, I'm happy with it. I really am. It's, it's gorgeous. Let me give you a twirl. And my arms feel free. You dance. Um, yeah, I'm happy with this. It's got a new lease of life. Yeah, I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. I did discover something else though while I was putting this on. And I'm going to share this with you at another time. I'm going to do one of my outfits of the week and I think it's even better than this. It's better than this. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's... See what happens when, when you're refashioning stuff and you're playing around, it's... Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I will definitely share, I'll definitely share this project with you again and another way that I can actually wear this. And, but I'll still wear it like this as well because I do like it. And yeah, so that is my refashion of a poncho. And now it's like a cape, a cape top. <laughs> a cape top, I'll call it. My cape top.
If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and please do share. If you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing because there's lots more refashioning and other um, techniques that I'll be sharing with you on my channel. And if you're interested in that sort of thing, it really is advisable for you to think about subscribing. And like I said, if you've got any comments or queries about anything in, in the video, then please let me know. And if you've got any ideas that you want to share with me about refashioning of old clothing, also put that in the comment box below. And I will see you next time.